the Rhinestone Roper channel. Today we're not in Idaho, we're not on the Rhinestone Roper place. Today we're in Pawhuska, Oklahoma, here at the Roan Horse Arena. Today we're gonna to talk about two things you should not do while you're performing or learning the ocean wave. Before we get to that, take a second, go ahead and subscribe. Once you subscribe, push that little bell there. Well, let's get to roping here. Two things you should not do while you're performing the ocean wave. One is on spin number two, turning it over out here in front of you. That, that robs your loop of a chance to gain a little bit of ground as you're coming into number three. And the other is letting your rope touch the ground. We'll talk about each of those. Now, as you recall from our prior video, the ocean wave is made up of three spins. One starts at the bottom here, comes around, finishes, there's number one. Number two starts here and comes up across your body and ends right there. Number three starts right here, goes around behind your back and stops right here where number one begins. Centrifugal force is working three different ways on this rope. And your hand, your arm motion is making up for that. Most of our rope tricks Keep your motion small. Just do enough to tell the rope what to do. Everything is kind of contracted as far as your motions go. With the ocean wave, <laughs> this is a full body rope trick. This is one you can cut loose on and let your body stretch and make some big motions. The first thing you don't want to do is let your rope touch the ground. If your rope touches the ground any place, it's gonna cause a shock wave to go through that loop. Your loop is not going to be pretty. The thing that's attractive about the ocean wave is this graceful vertical loop going around your body. It just seems to float. But if it touches the ground, the loop gets a little confused and it's not pretty anymore. Plus, the thing that's probably gonna to touch the ground is when you're coming down here with the Honda, here or here. If you hit your Honda on the ground, it's apt to slide. And then you start losing your loop. You don't want that to happen. One of the problems is spin number one here you got to give that a good spin to, to revive the loop from anything you lost coming back on number three. But you can't scoop it. You can't scoop that loop to make it a good strong loop and let it hit the ground. And that's a tendency. When you concentrate on keeping loop number one up in the air, you can do that. But if you lift it too high, it goes diagonally and touches the ground out here in loop number two. So, you can't make it high on one side because it'll go low on the other side. You have to keep it just above the ground the whole way. Everything is lifting. You're lifting it, you're lifting it. Come over here, you're lifting it. You speed it up as it comes over the top of number two, but not so far down that you let it touch the ground. It's gotta speed it up here and go right around your back. And the second thing we wanna talk about is it is possible to do the ocean wave Doing number one, coming here on number two, coming over the top, right out here, just past in front of you. You know, you're trying to keep this loop tight, keep it going, keep it going, making it tight. But if you make it tight by bringing it over the top on number two, out here in front, it's gonna feel like it's nice and tight. The problem is, that loop has to go from out here in front of you, all the way behind you, all the way over here and since you didn't do anything to make the loop expand on number two you're going to lose a couple feet by the time you get over here to number one and you're not going to understand why you're going to be pumping as hard as you can but it, that making that loop right here taking it all the way around here your spoke is going to get too long one thing you can do about that is just count on every time you come over here to number one you're going to pull that rope back through your hand for the amount of rope you lose and see if you can build it back up in that one spin. You can do that every single time. That's right. Mule's laughing at that idea. That's not a good idea. What you do want to concentrate on, it comes around on number three. You do number one, come around on number two. You don't turn it over out here in front. You ease this up, make this a big motion. You got a big loop you can do. Make this a big motion. Toss it back here, toss that Honda behind your shoulder. Toss behind your shoulder. Here's number one, 
Drag it across a big motion on number two. Toss it behind your shoulder. That ends number two. Here goes number three. When you get back here, you'll still have your big loop. A couple more tips on the most beautiful rope trick there is, that being the ocean wave. If you enjoy this, go ahead and hit subscribe and push notifications and, and take a look at a couple of these other videos we got coming up. We'll be talking about some, some key tips in perfecting your butterfly. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. We'll see you back in Idaho next time.